Hey guys, welcome back to some more Plants vs. Zombies action. Uh, and as you can see, we are here in China. Uh, well, I mean, it's kind of a poor assumption to say that this is definitely China, but I mean, it's definitely some Asian country. You can tell by the, what they have on their heads and how they're dressed. And uh, this is a cool little Easter egg that actually um, uh, I did not find out about until just recently, and I mean, I've played Plants vs. Zombies for several years. Well, like, off and on. But, uh, yeah, so, <clears throat> if you go to the achievement section in the main menu, uh, and you scroll all the way down to the bottom, there's this little Easter egg, and I always thought that was kind of funny. And, uh, yeah, so, as you scroll down, there's references to other PopCap games. Uh, I'm not sure what the game that is. I don't even know if that's a reference to anything or not. Maybe they have, like, a pipeline game. I, that, I guarantee that's a reference of some kind. I'm not sure what it is. Um, that is to a game known as Chuzzle. And probably PopCap's most successful game, if Plants vs. Zombies isn't, is Bejeweled. Very well-known game. And that's definitely a reference to Bejeweled. Um, but yeah. Oh, and I think that's a, that worm is a reference to, like, a word game of some variation. And as you can see here... It's just the achieve uh, <coughs> achievement section of the main menu, and then you scroll down and you see China, and I, um, we're gonna get right into this, but, uh, I think that's, uh, a reference to, um, I don't know if when you were, if this ever happened when you were little or not, but, actually, you know what, no, uh, I'm gonna let Crazy Dave explain some stuff here, and then I'll get back to my point. Evening, button mash. Those zombies just won't let up, will they? You notice that fighting zombies at night is different than in the day. For one, you won't get any sun fall falling from the sky. You can still get sun from sunflowers, though. And lucky for you, you got yourself some puff shrooms. Plant as many of those as you can, and you'll be A-O good. What a guy. Anyways, yeah. <coughs> I just assumed that was a reference to, um... Uh, how... When you were... I, mean, I, I assume when you were little... Uh, people would always say, oh, if you, if you dig straight down, you can, you can dig to China. And I mean, you do not understand how many recess, recesses of <coughs> elementary school, and I mean, like, endless amounts of recesses I spent digging in our school sand pits with, like, my entire grade one class in, a, in an attempt to get to China. Yeah. So, um, I just assume that that's what they're referencing there, but, uh, I thought that was a little funny Easter egg for you guys. All right. <coughs> Now, to the main point of today, uh, well, over the course of today, we're going to be playing through some of the night levels of this game, and playing at night, as Crazy Dave uh, helpfully pointed out, is a lot different than playing during the day. For one, as he said, you will not get any sun falling from the sky. Um, so, you cannot succeed in these levels without sunflowers. You absolutely need them. They're extremely necessary and helpful. The second thing you'll notice about playing at night is we have these things that are known as puff shrooms. And the peculiar thing about these is they only cost zero sun to plant, which might seem kind of confusing for you at first, but due to there being no sun falling from the sky, they gave you these guys to help you through the, through the night levels. And um, <clears throat> puff shrooms go into a whole different categorization of uh, plants known as sh uh, shrooms or mushrooms, but <clears throat> mushrooms, <clears throat> sorry, I had to clear my throat there. Mushrooms uh, are not able to be planted during the daytime and um, um, geez, I should really be planting more sunflowers <clears throat> but um, only at night and uh, blah, 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 blah. geez, what was I going to say? Yeah, so, oh, oh my gosh, so many different things happening at once. Um, yeah, so, mushrooms are basically, well, not basically, they are predominantly for, no, not predominantly either, they are for night levels, and yeah, as you can see there, the puff shroom costs zero sun, so, um, some night levels you might even be able to win with just puff, sh puff shrooms, no, uh, pea shooters, and I think we'll try to do that here with the help of some, uh, other, uh, buh -buh -buh plants, such as the walnut, uh, we might even get a chomper in there, <coughs> but yeah, um, then back on that other point, we just collected our first ten, uh, ten dollars in this game. And I mentioned this earlier, I think in video one, maybe it was video two. Oh, video two, that leads me to another point. Oh my gosh. 
the first video and second video, I had like nothing to talk about. Now it's, there's an abundancy of uh, things I have to mention. But um, yeah. So what was I talking about? Um, we got our first ten dollars, and at one point in the game, not now, but later on, you're actually able to buy things with them. Well, obviously, but you're able to buy things with the money at a a, a store that is actually run by Crazy Dave, the only other, well, basically the only NPC in the game. Ah, no, 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 no. I'll take that back. But, yeah. So, you're actually able to buy things with money. So, now now we have sun, which is used in-game in to plant plants, and uh, money, which, by the way, money, your, your money will never go away. You will always have, for example, if I finish this level, let's say we get another two silver coins in this and finish with 30 coins, or $30, rather. Um, I'll be 30... Thirty dollars added to my net total of um, money, which um, let's put a snow pea down here for the sake of it. Um, yeah, so you're able to buy things with uh, the money you earn, and you're you unless you use it, it does not go away like sun. Like if I finish this level with three hundred sun, we won't start the next level with three hundred sun. But as I said, if we finish this level with thirty. Um, dollars, then we will, that thirty dollars will always be with us, unless we spend it. And, um, yeah. Final wave, finally here, and there is Mr. Yellow Sombrero Man, who still does not have a name. <coughs> Due to the, this being a new channel, I mean, the first person to come up with a name for it might be the one who gets to name it for the entire LP, and, yeah, that might be pretty cool. Well, I don't know, it might be cool to you guys. I think it would be pretty interesting. Um, yeah, so, back on the topic of episode 2, which was just, uh, uploaded, uh, this morning, but this video, like, I'm recording this on the, um, uh, b -b 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 the 31st of January, and this probably won't be uploaded till the 2nd of February, but we have a new plant. Okay, this is the sun shroom, and the sun shroom is one of the mushrooms that I mentioned earlier that can only be used at night time. Um, I'm not that big of a fanatic on this plant. It, uh, it only produces, uh, the sun it produces at first when you plant it is only 15. Like, it only gives a, oh, Crazy Dave. Hey, you've collected 270 in coins so far. When you collect 750, I'll sell you something really neato. Um, yeah, you, you get small, 15, you get sun at intervals of 15 at a time, and then it grows a bit, like, I'm going to say four minutes in, and then it becomes uh, a regular sun producing, like, sun, you know, I'll show it off this level, I'm not huge on it, but what the heck, I'll show it off just for the sake of showing you what it, what it's all about. Okay, so as you can see, uh, it costs 25 sun, as I mentioned previously, but um, right now, it's rather small. Okay, here we go. So it, it gave us sun, but at, at first it only gives us 15, but once it grows midway through the level, it will start to produce sun at like regular 25s. Um, I think it is rather important to also include some uh, sunflowers. So, I'm only going to put in three, and then the other two will be sunflowers, because I don't know <clears throat> if we're going to be able to operate with only getting 15 sun at a time. Um, yeah, so, you'll probably notice when one of them grows, but I'll, I'll be sure to point it out. And, um, what I was going to say before we got the sunshroom was that I apologize for video two, uh, video two's audio. Um, I had some problems with the sound effects and my voice being, uh quieter than that, and you couldn't hear my narration, which I'm sure devastated you, <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> yeah, I have fixed the problem, I just had to up the, uh, <clears throat> I had to enhance the settings of my, uh, microphone, so I picked up, uh, a louder, uh, recording of my voice, which, um, I'm thank- I'm, I'm really grateful that I was able to figure it out, 
because that would not have been good having to take s sound effects out because I mean some of the noises in this game are pretty awesome. Uh, let's put a potato mine down. Okay. Uh, I don't even know. See, like as you can see here, I didn't even include peas in the arsenal for this level. Um, I don't know if they're that necessary in night levels. I mean, some of the later night levels, you might need peas just due to, like right now, we're only getting regular zombies, uh, bucket heads, like really basic zombies that don't really have much to them and much, and propose much of a challenge. But later on, oh, there. Uh, maybe I didn't notice the first one grow, but I just heard the noise of one of them growing. Now they're producing uh, sun at an interval of 50. So every time it gives off sun, we get... Uh, sorry, 50, what am I talking about? We get 25, just like uh, any other sunflower. And there, now we have five full sun-producing plants. Uh, jeez, I really need to get the chompers out. Um, the tiles of grass that have uh, gravestones on them, you're not able to plant on. And, um, <clears throat> in Final Wave, uh, zombies will, uh, come out of those gravestones, and rather than starting at the, in, um, column, uh, ten, I think there's ten, ten columns, I'm just assuming, rather than starting there, it will actually, uh, come out of the gravestones. So if you have gravestones far up on your lawn, then that's gonna be problematic, because they're starting right here, and potentially are already behind your defenses, which isn't that good. Oh, uh, speaking of problems, we have one over here in this section of the lawn. Um, Alright, we're good. So yeah, eventually you do get a plant that allows you to remove the gravestones, which is really useful, and you actually get money, ge uh, like actual dollars generally for removing the gravestones, which is kind of useful. Uh, let's set up Chomp Nut. Um, see, this is where using only... Puff shrooms can bring oh money can bring up problems. I mean, they're serving their purpose well, but a they don't do much damage. B they don't take that long for the zombies to eat through, and C their range isn't that long, so a zombie has to get like significantly close to a. Uh, why the hell did I not include a cherry bomb in this one? That sucks. Uh, I should have had a cherry bomb. We could be done with this. Um. Yeah, what was I talking about? Um, uh, buh, 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 buh. Yeah, they don't have the same range that pea shooters do. <clears throat> and I don't know. It's, um... They, they serve their purpose well. Oh, no. Please, please, thank you. <clears throat> See, this gravestone is now limiting us from... Gravestone... These gravestones... Why can't I say gravestone? I keep saying grave strewn. <coughs> um, is, uh, uh, buh, 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 l like, <coughs> what's the word I'm looking for? Limiting the amount of spaces or tiles we can put, um, plants on, so we can't have the perfect sy symmetry that I generally like to go for. But, um, that's alright. I kinda, I'm over my symmetry thing, even though I do like having my even lines of plants. It's not that big a deal, and I realized the stupidity of thinking it was. Um, by the way, I'm not going to be able. To, I'm not going to go at a pace of five levels every video now. They just got to be the levels were get increase, increasingly uh, long as you progress, and uh, I know for a fact I don't. I don't mind recording for half an hour, but generally I don't enjoy watching YouTube videos that are half an hour long. Um, so at the frequency of which I'm hopefully going to be uploading these videos. I don't know if you guys are willing to that often watch that long of a video, so... <clears throat> I'll, I have a uh, stopwatch beside me, and uh, I'll just go with that, and then... Around 20 minutes of video, so we should get in one more level after this one. I mean, two levels of video at that rate, we're not going to be going anywhere, but... Oh, no. Um... Potato mine. Um... See, this is where the gravestone is really interfering with our strategy, because... Um, we're not able to put a chomper there, and it's, like, limiting, like, the... Like, we have to wait before... You know what? 
you guys can figure it out. Like, you, you see what's happening. The gravestone is preventing us from putting a plant there, which, correspondingly, it, oh, crap, another problem, uh, is not letting us, um, attack the zombies earlier, so that's a bit of an issue. Um, I think we should be good here. I don't even know if we've, I don't think we've had to deal with, um, Zombies getting past our last line of defense. Like, I don't think we've seen what happens when they reach the lawnmowers. Um, and I'm not- I'm definitely not intentionally gonna let that happen, but... I'm not gonna have a perfect LP of this. Like, eventually we are gonna lose a level or two, or- Like, I'm not gonna show it, because that's just a waste of time. But, um... I'm definitely going to, uh... Sh uh, you you'll definitely see, at one point or another, what happens when they reach the lawnmowers. So yeah, we've been able to do these first couple levels without any peas, and yeah, that that says a lot about the puff shrooms, even though I was trashing them earlier and saying how, I don't know, like, poor attackers they are, they do serve somewhat of a purpose, and I mean, like, they come in use occasionally. But, like I said, later on in the harder night levels, we definitely won't be using these. And there, now you can see how the zombies uh, arise from the, uh, the ground. Well, what do we have here? The third phone interruption of the LP in the third video. This is, we are just destined for fun and games. Um, this is potentially bad, but no matter what, like, we're not, it's impossible for us to lose because we have the lawnmowers back there. So, yeah, I'm not worried in the slightest. Uh, what was I saying, though? Oh, yeah, before the phone rang. Uh, you just got a first-hand look at how the zombies come up out of the, uh, gravestones there. And, um, you can see how that works out. Put a chomper down, and... Oh, uh, you might get to see a lawnmower here. Um, dig up the sun shroom and put a potato mine down and hopefully the walnut stalls it out for... Like, I don't even... It's completely unnecessary to do this. I could have just let it go through and hit the lawnmower and... As I'm pretty sure you've figured out, it would have died off, but... Whatever. Okay. This is getting tedious, so I'm gonna remove the walnut. And... Now we have the fume shroom. Okay, the fume shroom costs 75 <clears throat> uh, sun to plant, and uh, uh, it shoots fumes that can pass through screen doors. Um, <clears throat> a somewhat useful plant. I'm not a huge, huge fan, seeing as it's it only serves one purpose. Uh, it, like it only it only is like really effective against one kind of zombie, and other than that, is generally not that good of a attacking plant. So I'll show it off next level, and I don't know. I'm I'm not gonna be using it for that long, but oh, you know what? Never mind. We're reaching around 20 minutes, and. Yeah, I don't want to make these videos too long due to the file size and, <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry, and the, uh, and due to you guys not wanting to watch that long of a video, so, we're gonna wrap it up for today, guys. We, unfortunately, did two levels, that was all, but, uh, we got a first-hand look at the night levels, how they work, uh, the mushrooms, we got used to them, um, and we will finish off this episode by digging to China. And you know what, even though it's a poor assumption to say it's China, I'm just going to go with that because that's what I used to say when I was little. I used to, I was, I was always sure that I could dig to China with like a shovel. And on that note, good day.